Jesus loves us. You know, I, I say this often, you know, a lot of times we take for granted what he did for us. You know, we, we know he died. He, 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 went, he was thrown in jail. He was, he was beaten and, and, and he was pretty much tortured. And, and, and then he went to the cross and and, and and he died and you know we know that he went to hell and 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 he did it all because his father loved so loved the world i mean you know a lot of times we don't take that into a place where where we should in the sense of really internalizing that and taking it to a deep place in in our spirit and, 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 you know, and imagining the horror that he went through, not just that he was beaten and, and, and that he was, and that he was whipped, you know, theologians and, 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 and scholars say where organ, organs were exposed, you know, they used the, they used the whip, it was called the cat of nine tails, you know. It, it had these hooks in them at the end of the at the end of the the, 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 the lashes and, and it, it would grab your skin and it just rip your skin apart it would just pull it with it 39 they said if, if you if you did it 40 times it's, it's a certain death <laughs> how they calculate that I don't know you know 39 is pretty bad right? And, and he did that, but he, he not only did that, he, he did that knowing that this is what he was going to go through. So if we, we just kind of just think about that, think about, think about how, how he was, how he was beaten when he was, when he was thrown in prison, how the guards beat him and, and, and tortured him and, because his father loved us. Now, of course, Jesus loves us as well. But but he he didn't do it so much for us as, as much as he did it for his father. For, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. And, and, and scripture tells us that he found joy in, in doing what he did because it pleased the father. Now, I don't know about you. I don't know about you. If I can love somebody so much that I would do something like that because my father asked me to do it. I, I, I would be mad at my father. Why, why would you? you and, 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 then, and then find joy. God, you know, Dad, why are you, why are you making me do this? They're spitting on me. They're, they're ripping my, the flesh off of my back. I have to go to the cross. They, they, you, they're nailing my hands to a cross and my feet to a cross. They're beating me. What, God, the, Dad, Dad, how can we find joy in that? But see, love overcomes all of that. Lo love over, overcomes pain. Love overcomes, you know, the, 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 the process of torture is, is not, is, it's not, it, it, it doesn't exceed in emotions and in feelings and, and you know, it, it doesn't overcome love. L love, over, love never fails. Love never fails. The, the worst part is hell. <laughs> you know, he actually went to hell. You guys remember hell, right? What the Bible says about hell, it, it, it's, 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 it's a dark place. It's a, 
There's weeping and gnashing of the teeth. You know what gnashing of the teeth is when you're in excruciating pain and 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 you, you, you yelling doesn't help. No, nothing helps. All you can do is gnash your teeth and and, and and grind your teeth because the pain is so horrible. The, 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 the worms don't don't die. So he not only went to the cross, he went to hell for us. That's how much he loves us. He 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 not only sent his son to the cross, he sent his Son to hell. And then the worst of the worst of the worst of the whole process. You would think hell is the worst, right? You would think hell is the worst. Three days. Not one. Not two. Dad, you could have at least just sent me one day. Why, why does it have to be three days? The, the worst. The worst is when he was in hell. He, he was in hell a hundred percent human being in hell not have God or a hundred percent God and a hundred percent human because then it wouldn't count for us he took he took our what, what we deserve I'm talking about his love here right he took what we deserve you can't be a hundred percent God and a hundred percent man and be in hell you know you would be you would just side on over to a hundred percent God you, you'd have somewhere to hide. You'd have somewhere where you can cheat what we deserve. I don't know if we ever have gone into deep thought about what he's done, but I think that we should. I, I think we should put ourselves there and, and, and kind of imagine as, as, as bad as we can, as much as we can and, and as deep as we can, what it really means to, to go to hell. And, and then if we do take it to the depths of where it really starts to affect us and, and, and impact us. I think we need an impact of what hell really is like. Then maybe, just maybe, we would want to tell people about Jesus Christ and, 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 and want to share the gospel of the message and the message of salvation. Because I think if we imagine what hell really is as described in the Bible... I, I think it would compel us to tell people about Jesus Christ and his salvation and heaven. The, the, it, the, the problem with the church is that you, they're so selfish. They, 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 they think about themselves. They think about their, their, their accomplishments and their success and what they can, they can get out of life. And, and, and they don't think about others or enough or, you know it, it, you might you might give them money when you see them on the street corner the lost right you might give them money you might buy them a meal you might get them a, a, a shirt or some pants you you might get them a, a, a bag of groceries and, and that's all good but it's rubbish because if you don't give them the message of the cross it's rubbish it make it, it makes me feel good when I give, I perform my religious duties. I did my Christian thing. You, you, you might go ahead and say a little prayer. Lord, I pray that, that you get this person out of this situation. Lord, I pray prosperity for them. I pray, Lord God, that you heal them. I pray, Lord God, they get the miracle that they need. But, but the message of salvation is missed in that here's your bag of groceries here's your your, your your bag of clothes and let me say a prayer for you and I'm uh, and, and I think I'm one of the greatest Christians that ever lived on the face of the planet and, and there's something wrong about that there's something uh, amiss in that kind of thinking there, there, there's something foul in that because they're going to hell. You remember the hell where there's gnashing and weeping and gnashing of the teeth? You remember that hell, right? The hell where, where there's, there's no sleep. Continuous torture. You, 
remember that hell, right? But we're we're good, you know. <laughs> Oh, I got my house. I'm going to heaven. I'm helping the lost. I'm helping the hurt. I'm helping the the, the hungry. I, I'm doing my I'm doing my Christian thing, and I go to church on Sunday, and and you and I go to church on on Wednesday night. I go to Bible study. Ooh, I'm I'm, I'm crisp. I'm clean. I'm, I'm good. Me and God are good. Our, on a scale from one to ten, my relationship with God is a ten. Well, you know, I got some I got some issues. It's a nine. <laughs> and they're going to hell. If, 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 we're, if there's something wrong, if we call ourselves believers and we can't even share the gospel to someone, if 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 if, if it, it hurts us or or we th we think we offend people when we share the gospel, we can't share it at our schools. We can't share it at our jobs. We'll get fired. <laughs> We'll cause problems and issues with our co-workers. And, and I don't want to, I don't want to look like I'm I'm religious and and and, and self-righteous to the ones that are hanging out with me, doing their thing, going out to Netflix night, Living their lives every day. And I'm a believer. And I can't even share the gospel with them. The same people I hang out with. I, and, 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 but I'm Chris. I'm, I'm, my relationship with God is good. You know how many people I ask? You're a Christian. This is your friend. You know God. You go to church. Did you ever tell them about Jesus Christ? Oh, no, 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 no. No. I don't know if there was one time I asked a, a group of people. If there's one Christian there, if they ever shared the gospel with their friends, they're hanging out with, skateboarding with, having coffee with, drinking, e eating lunch with. If they ever said, no, I never shared. No, yes, I shared my, my, you know, my, my relationship with God to her. I told her about God or him or them. Not one time. Not one time. Yeah, yeah, he knows. I tell them all the time. He's, you know, <laughs> and tomorrow's not promised. And tomorrow's not promised. It's not promised to you. It's not promised to me. It's not promised to them. And, and, and God, Lord, and if, and if they, they, their day and you know, the world ends, the world is, is going to end, but the world ends for somebody every single day. It ends for somebody every single day. And, and most sermons are about the world ending and what's going to happen in the end times and, and, and the process of America and where it's going and, and what we need to do to be successful and, and be rich and, and be a happy family. But they're going to hell. They're going to hell. But I'm crisp. I'm clean. Stay on that. Stay on that. One more time, come on, let, let, let us hear that song. You know, you know, he, he didn't know what message I was sharing today. He didn't know. I didn't know. Huh. Come on, just, just stand up right where you are. Just stand up right where you are. Just stand up right where you are. But what is love? We say it all the time. We say it all the time. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I, oh, Jesus, I love you. I love you. I love you. We come to church. You know, we come to church. Jesus, I love you. I love you. And, you know, we sit down and we hear the best message on love. We hear the best messages on love. We don't, you know, in America, they're the best preachers about the love message. The best preachers in America. The best. I've been in church for 20 years. Something here. And I heard the best messages. How to how to be how to be successful with your finances. How to have a successful marriage. How how to how to how to how to how to love people. How to how to how to walk in, in the spirit. I I I you I heard it all. You know you know the, the messages I don't hear in the American church? Win the lost. Love the lost. Die to yourself. 
No, but you know, this is, we're good at this, man. We're good at this. And now Holy Spirit people are doing it. Holy Spirit filled people. They're filled with the Holy Spirit. And they come and they, you know, they do the thing, you know, the thing. You know, they get wobbly at the knees and they cry and, and, and some of them laugh and, and some of them are on the floor and they're. But they're lost. I, just, just. Jesus, I love you. I love you. We love you, Lord. Jesus, I love you. How much? Jesus, I love How much? How much? Can I tell my friends about you? Because because if I love you more than anything, Jesus, I love you. I love my wife. I love my wife. I love my wife. And if I love my wife, I go around and say, I talk, talk about my wife. I tell people about my wife. My wife is awesome. My wife is wonderful. She's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I, I just love her. I love my kids. I tell them, my kids are so awesome. I love my kids. They can do no wrong. They're perfect. I'd be lying. But because I love them, I'm willing to take that chance, you know. But, the, but, but Jesus, wait, hold on. I love you, Jesus. More than anything, Jesus, you know, the, the church song. The church song. <laughs> and I can't and I, I can't find it in my heart to tell somebody because I'm gonna offend them, because I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my job. I'm gonna I'm you know <laughs> I'm gonna get them mad, I'm gonna get rejected. Man, too many I'ms in there. Too many I'ms and too many, too many me's in there, too many excuses in there, too many lies from Satan in there. Lord, forgive us as a church, God. Forgive us. Forgive us for what we've been teaching our the, the believers. Those that are those that are discipled and that we've had that been, that been <clears throat> mentored into the American church. <coughs> Forgive. We gotta get this right. In our own lives first, and then in the lives of the of others. And we gotta. We gotta let believers know, and, and then, and then, of course, we have to, we have to tell the lost. But if our Second Corinthians four, three and four, but if our gospel be hid, if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. We're good. Me and you are good. We're going to heaven. You know, we're pristine. We got it right with God. But the church, you know, I found one thing wrong in you. I found one thing wrong in you. You did all this right. You you fed them. You you visited them in jail. But I found one thing wrong in you. You hid it. You hid the gospel. You hid the gospel. You you I found one thing wrong in you. You didn't die to self. Lord, they're dying. They're they're lost. They're going to hell, and, and there's no break in, in in our hearts for the ones that are going to hell. Enough for us to say, "I'm I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to sacrifice. I'm going to give my life. I'm going to I'm going to find I'm going to find Jesus. I give my life. I find life. I lose my life. I find it in Christ. But if it be hid." There's one thing I found wrong in you. One thing. You hid the gospel of salvation. You hid my son. You had him in your heart. You had access to him. You had access to me. You had access to heaven. You had access to miracles and blessings. But you hid my son. You hid him. And if our hearts don't break for the lost. And, and if we don't compel them and tell them. I found one thing wrong in you. I found one thing wrong in you. You remember those words, right? Right? To the churches, you remember? 
in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. Everybody say, gospel of Christ. <laughs> it's right here. Don't we not believe the word of God? Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine. Should shine. It's right here. Is our light shining in Him who's, who is in us, who lives in us, who has blessed us? Every miracle accessible to me and you? Who I said it? 2 Corinthians 5.19, it says, It was God who, per who personally presented in Christ, personally, personally presented in Christ, reconciling and restoring the world to favor with himself. But there's one thing I found in you, one thing I found in you. You did it all right. You did all good stuff. You did it. But there's one thing. Not counting up and holding against their trespasses, but canceling them. But canceling them. There's a way to salvation, and we're not telling them. There's a way to get to, 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 to not go to, to the lake of fire where we can snatch them out of the lake of fire. And we're not using it. It's telling them. How do you snatch them out? The hook you snatch them out with is the, the gospel of salvation, the gospel of Christ. And committing to us the message of reconciliation. Lord, we just declare the message today as we go out, God. We declare the message as we go out, God. They're going to hell, God. They're going to hell, God. Put them in front of us, God. Tell us to go to the right or to the left so that we can meet them where they are. So that we can tell them where they're going, God. And we're, God, we're here today to do just that. We're dying to ourselves. We're, we're, the, we're, the, we're the martyrs. You get that, right? We're dying to ourselves. We're the martyr church. We're dying to ourselves. <clears throat> the one church. The perfect church. The one church. The perfect church. You're the perfect. I found nothing wrong in you. You died to yourself. You died. You died for the gospel. Every day, God. May I die every day. I don't want to be me. Lord, when they see my face, God, when they look at me, may they see you, God. May they see you, Jesus. <clears throat> not my face, Lord. Not my face. Not yours, God. Yours, Jesus. Jesus, we love you today. One more time. We love you, God. I love you.